another episode of our ghost reel um today i am in northamptonshire and i am in barton seagrave behind me there is a road unfortunately um seems to be pretty busy as you can see so i'm really i apologize um but the reason why i'm here this is the river issy so i've moved a little bit further down there's still the road over there though um and there's also a dog legend here that back in the 14th century lord seagrave fell in love with lady latimer lady isabel latimer and one night it was dark and it was sundry she was actually betrothed to be married to lord neville who was a neighboring uh, uh lord and she was already betrothed to him but um lord seagrave was desperately in love with her so what he did was he stole her and ended up taking her back to the castle so oh there's a bunny rabbit what is in front of me is a preserved earthwork from an old, a very, very old manor, um, manor house. And, and then there's another earthwork over here where that clump of trees are over there as well. And they used to be in 14th century. Here we go. So this used to be a castle. <laughs> now there's rabbits. <laughs> this used to be a castle medieval castle um from the 14th century there was a the moat so there was two moats and it was ruled over by lord seagrave hence why this place is now called barton seagrave when barton seagrave actually means barley farm just see the spire of the 11th century uh, church which is just there um, but what you can see now is mainly 13th century but there are still parts to it which is 11th century Lord Stephen Seagrove moved into a manor house here in the 1220s and that's when it was called um, Seagrove an old railway line here which was used to run to Cambridgeshire via Kettering and Thrapston and Huntington Railway but then it was closed in 1961. But you can actually still walk part of the route um, today uh, because it's now just been turned into a footpath. Um, but yeah, these are the earthworks of the old castle, which was built in the 14th century and actually <laughs> was also ruined in the 14th century in 1433. Uh, and so all you can see really today is the moats. Uh, and this this is it really uh, and then there's another moat over there and she was already betrothed to him but um lord seagrave was desperately in love with her so what he did was he stole her and ended up taking her back to the castle that we were at earlier and captured her and kept her in a dungeon lord neville found this out so along with her brother he came to rescue her on a night and it was really dark it was thundery it was not great weather and all the horses and including Lady Latimer herself drowned in the river behind me and um, but people say that they see her ghost in the river like face down uh, or they've seen her floating along the river when they've been walking their dogs so this is a public park so I thought I would just get the EMF detector out um, and just see 
if I get anything. There is a little railway here too, a little playing field, which is really, really cool. Um, it's not open now, but there's also a lake here as well. Like, it's really, I like this park. It's an awesome park. Um, the sun is starting to go down uh, as it's about half eight at night. Um, but I wanted to come when I thought it might not be too busy. I'm calling out to Lady Isabella. If Lady Isabella Latima is here, then please don't be afraid. Lady Isabella Latimer is here, or her brother, because her brother also perished here. And also, so did Lord Seagrave. So if any of them are here, I think it was Lord Seagrave, or it was Lord Neville. I can't remember which one it was. But if any of them are here and want to talk to me, please don't hesitate to come and talk to me. I'm not here to harm you in any way. I just want to know if you're here. I don't want to disrespect you at all. I'm walking back towards the road, which I kind of don't want to do. But the legend says they didn't know because it was so stormy that night the horses and everything couldn't see and they so they all drowned here don't be shy lady isabella if you're here come forward please let me know that you're here my way back up to the Norman church um, it's just it got so busy even though it's half eight at night uh, well nearly half eight at night not quite um, but it just got so busy so I'm gonna make my way back up the church and hopefully fingers crossed that won't be busy so I'm back where the earthworks are and um, so you can just see there's a mound here and there's a mound there and these are a part of the old castle <coughs> that used to be here uh, so this is all part of the old castle which now no longer exists um, but you can see it from <coughs> from like satellite images so if I can find a satellite image and put it on then I will but they're so pretty you can kind of just imagine how it would have been back in the day. You know, you can almost sort of try and envisage a castle here. Um, and maybe the river just at the bottom there. And just how huh, lots of bunny rabbits. You can just see it running. And you can just Im almost sort of envisage how they would have lived. Yeah, you can just, you can just see, if I just, <clears throat> unfortunately there's nothing really left of the castle apart from these earthworks, but even so it gives you an idea, um, so this is, would have been the ramparts that I'm sort of standing on, uh, and then that would have been sort of looking around the moat, so I'll be on the moat basically right now. And you can just see sort of the ditch. It's really, yeah, it's quite cool. And there was two moats surrounding this castle. Um, so it's quite a big castle back in the day. 
trapped by a piece of air in the distance. It's lovely. So, walking back up to the church. It's a beautiful church. So, this is the old 11th century church. Oh, that's amazing. So most of this is now just 13th century, but it really is a beautiful church. We are actually just playing something inside the church, so I can't actually go in because they've got a band playing in there. Um, but this is a beautiful little churchyard. It's absolutely stunning. So I mean, obviously I was going to go to, <laughs> I was going to do a ghost hunt at the other place, but it just got so busy. Um, there's no ghost stories though, I'm afraid, attached to this place. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys it because it's really beautiful. Okay, so there may be ghosts here, but it's just a bit too busy. So I'm going to definitely have to come back. You can hear the music. <laughs> So I'm going to definitely have to come back and maybe try and do a ghost investigation again. Maybe winter is probably the best idea. Because this isn't working out how I planned it to. <laughs> so sorry guys, but this is maybe a taste of what is to come. So I'm really glad I did come here, even though I didn't actually get a chance to do what I wanted to do. But certainly it is a really lovely place and a lovely church. So I'm definitely coming back. Okay, this <laughs> video did not plan out the way I thought it was going to plan out. Um, like in my head, I thought I was going to be able to do a ghost investigation and it kind of didn't work out like that um, but I really do hope that you enjoyed this video anyway um, just looking at the castle earthworks and looking at the beautiful river and then also looking at the beautiful 11th century church um, this place is a lovely lovely place and I will definitely come back um, it just unfortunately was too busy <laughs> um, and I've got work tomorrow morning so I can't stay longer otherwise I would stay and do a night one until morning or whatever but unfortunately I've got work tomorrow so I can't do that <laughs> um, but maybe next time maybe next time all right well I'll leave you guys um, for this week and I hope you guys have a lovely week and I shall See you for my next one. Okay, bye!